welcome to MMA Inside the Cage, bringing the world of mixed martial arts straight to you. Cyrus feeds alongside a man that Zufa would never dare cut, Mr. Casey Oxenine. Well, Cyrus, I'm a busy man, and with the number of Strike Force's most recognizable talent recently cut from the roster, I'm sure they're going to need some star power of this caliber to fill that void. But partner, my loyalty is right here with MMA Inside the Cage, and with MMA Inside the Cage, I shall remain. Well, Casey, if we're previewing Gruesome 5, that means two things. That's right. That means that, of course, the gruesome one himself, sure. Brandon Newsom, will be right here in the studio next round, and we're going to be showing three hard-hitting gruesome MMA fights tonight. Three of them. We still haven't had a chance to get Brandon's input on the Varnergate fiasco from the last event, and Casey, Gruesome Newsom, Brandon has the fights, the clothing line. He's got a really good thing going on in Kentucky. Oh, he's got it all. Big time fights, big names, and he's doing it again in Pieville, Kentucky. Oh, it's going to be huge, man. Let's get to our first fight of the night, and it features your MMA inside the cage, Punch of the Week. Proudly brought to you by Sonda. Right in the corner, right in the corner. Okay. It's Four showtime, ready. NFC Four Africa 06. Let's go. The One middleweight the clash. Really been looking forward to see us. Oh, oh wow! wow! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh. Ball terror to blood just rocked. Replay brought to you by Jaka Clothing and a massive hit. So this ball to blood just lining up, setting up, and you can see Yannis threw that leg kick. And it was basically that second punch that switched the button off. Unbelievable. Loaded up that right hand. Yep, that's the one right there. You see the toes going stiff immediately. Wow. That dude has got some serious power. EFC Africa 10, Speechly versus Jacoby for the EFC Africa welterweight title. First September, Carnival City, or watch it live at efcafrica.com. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. Cyrus Fees alongside Casey Oxenine. We're talking everything gruesome MMA as we get ready for gruesome MMA 5, The Reckoning, live from the Eastern Kentucky Expo Center in Pikeville, Kentucky on Friday, September 9th. Now let's talk to the man behind it all. He's formerly of the King of Vegas reality show on Spike TV and now the owner of gruesome MMA, Mr. Brandon Newsom. Welcome back to the show, Brandon. Hey guys, glad to be back. This is one of my favorite vehicles to get the message out about mixed martial arts and I just appreciate everything you guys do. Glad to be back. And you got one of the fighters on the card here with you. Talk about him. Absolutely. This is the sexy Rican himself. Wow. Hometown boy. He's a two sport All American uh, from Floyd County, basketball, football. Dylan Maldonado. He's a half Puerto Rican. He's half American. <laughs> and he's, awesome. bring, he's bringing the heat. He's got some bling over there, too. What's that all about? Uh, that's my All A basketball state championship right now. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Now, hold on. I see uh, the bling here, but then something's canceling it out. I see a new kid's on the blind t shirt. What's going on here, man? What a, what a wardrobe choice here for MMA inside the cage, my friend. Well, this is to support my wife. Uh, we take it step by step. True. And, uh, and okay. I'm I wanted to show my support for her because I, I love her so much. She's she's actually the uh, person behind me and allows me to do all the things that I do. No doubt about and, it. And uh, we're just hanging tough trying to promote this show. Yeah. So this is sort of my shout out to my beautiful, lovely wife. Nice. That, uh, He's a big Jordan Knight fan himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I like to give it to you every episode on MMA Inside the Cage. We certainly have the right stuff. All right, we're done with new kids on the block for the rest of the episode. Is that Are you fine with that? That's fine. We'll text later about it. <laughs> we're talking about the big, gruesome five event. You have to be jacked for 
this event, man, especially in such an awesome venue as the Expo Center. Oh, man, it's amazing. 7,000 seat arena is the crown jewel of Eastern Kentucky. The city just picked up ownership of it. Uh, we're, we're sharing the likes of Big and Rich and Billy Kirk, and we're wow. sandwiched in between those two events. Uh, it's the first mixed martial arts event that's been there in about four years. And uh, we plan on bringing the pain and a large crowd and lots of lights, glitz, and gore September 9th at the East Kentucky Expo Center. Now you're making a big jump, man, from the Belfry High School Gymnasium to a huge venue in the Expo Center. Talk about how it is, and I'll throw this to you, Casey. You've done some big, big venues. What's the difference in going from a small venue like that to a huge venue? Well, I mean, there's a lot more responsibility, man. You sure. gotta fill up a big, uh, you know, a big arena, man, but he's been doing it, you know? He's uh, he's gr uh, drawing crowds, he's filling up the smaller places, and, and this is the natural evolution to, you know, take it to bigger and better things. Now, looking up and down the fight card, man, you got some huge fights, man. You got one of our guys, Tyler Minton, from the Tri-Cities. We're going to have him on in round number three. Talk about some of the other big fights you have on the card. Well, straight from the top, we've got a, a Bellator veteran uh, getting ready to fight for strike force in the near future. Uh, Greg Maynard's back on the card. He's wow. our matchmaker. Uh, big heavyweight. He's planning on bringing the pain. Great stand-up war. Uh, we've got uh, Chancellor Edmondson and Tyler. It's going to be good. As that's two big 185ers pounding it out. And we have Jason Hayden, who actually comes out of Joe Bezos fight camp, which mm -hmm. is which is fighting in Abu Dhabi right now. Wow. He's the number one leg lock specialist in the world. Uh, top guy. He's a 135 pound fighter. He's taking on uh, Cornelius Godfrey, who arguably is the top 135. Pro in, in in three or four states wow. who trains under George Grigel and Dustin Ware, so they're going to have quite a quite to war. And not to mention, we've got three more pro fights. There's going to be six pro fights Jeez. total. Yeah, Oiler and Burns. Oiler and Burns, which That's is two insane. heavyweights that rely on their BJJ skills. So it's going to be two heavyweights going to the ground, rolling around. Uh, who knows? There might be some oil thrown on them and some uh, and some dollar bills. So, so who's this man going to be fighting, Dylan Maldonado? This man's fighting the guy who looks like he's straight out of Sam Quentin, but he's actually <laughs> out straight out of the coal mines of Eastern Kentucky. Okay. Uh, he's uh, tatted up, uh, mean looking 155 pounder, got some piercings, and uh, he's got a battle on his hands. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this natural athlete uh, can do with somebody that's a uh, born and bred street fighter. Sure. Now, like you said, the pride of Betsy Lane High School, man. You're 1-0 in the MMA world. Looking towards this fight, what do you think you need to do to improve your game uh, to have really good fight. Um, I really need to work on my takedown defense. I know he wants to come out, try to take me down, ground pound me and submit me. So I'm working on my takedown defense, my box, and my jiu-jitsu, working on everything, just trying to put it all together. Awesome, man. We're looking forward to seeing you. Hopefully we can get that streak going right there, going 2-0. Oh. Now normally, Brandon, I would ask about the craziest thing that's happened in your days of promoting, but I'm pretty sure I already know what that is. That would be the Jamie Varner escapade from Gruesome MMA 4 that made national news. And we're going to get to that right after the break. This is MMA Inside the Cage. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. Cyrus Bees, Casey Oxenine, the head honcho from Gruesome MMA, Brandon Newsom, and Tyler Melee Mitten has just joined us. He's one of the fighters fighting on Gruesome MMA 5, The Reckoning, that's going down Friday, September 9th in Pikeville, Kentucky, at the Eastern Kentucky Expo Center. Now, you can still get your tickets, right, Brandon? Where can you get those tickets? At? Absolutely. You can uh, call the box office at the East Kentucky Expo Center, sure. and uh, you can have them reserved at the will call window. Okay. Or uh, you can just simply go on Ticketmaster.com oh. and print them out at your, own, at your computer at the house and uh, bring them, and they'll scan them and let you at the show. Well, I'll tell you what, man, Kentucky's known for their horses, right? You guys are like the horse state. You're certainly not a trotter. You're galloping through Kentucky right now, brother. Nor, nor am I a tough man, but <laughs> I'm simply a guy that works real hard to put the best show on in the state. No doubt about it, man. We've learned some about this monster car, but while we have you here, we got to talk about Jamie Varner, okay? We had a situation with Jamie Varner at Bruce MMA 4. You know, you made headlines with this, man, because you brought in the WEC former lightweight champion. This is a big deal for you. He shows up to your venue and walk us through what happened next. Uh, I was sitting with uh, Todd Neal, our mm -hmm. boxing commissioner, and uh, Jamie came over to uh, apply for a Kentucky State license like all other state fighters do. And um, his paperwork wasn't really in check. Yeah. He was sent away because he did not have his blood work. Okay. And uh, that seems got, harmless enough. Harmless enough. And uh, he, it was nowhere to be found. Uh, he asked to go to a classroom. And in the meantime, it's a promotion. So uh, I was called away to help uh, put some stuff in the locker rooms and make sure water and ice and just sure. making sure the extra touches are there. I came back and the Boston Commissioner says, Jamie Varner is barred from the arena. <laughs> I remember this actually. And, yeah. uh, and uh, 
next thing I know, uh, Casey's gone, uh, and come to find out, he had submitted uh, blood work to the state, and uh, it, it did not pass the inspection of our, uh, of, our, of our boxing commissioner. So I wasn't there. All I know is uh, his opponent trained really, really hard, uh, brought in a Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu black belt, uh, brought in some uh, college wrestlers, some collegiate wrestlers, put in a heck of a training camp, and uh, unfortunately didn't get to uh, shock the world and uh, really raise his stock in the MMA community and possibly get a shot at going to a, to a bigger show. That's true, and that was a big disappointment for him. Now, Casey, you went on assignment, gave him a ride back to his hotel, and even got the interview for your show. Talk about that experience. Well, I mean, first of all, you know, that was quite an escapade. You know, <laughs> to and, say the least. Uh, you know, um, I'll say that Jamie is a solid talent and truly one of the greatest unsigned fighters uh, out there right now. I mean, he mm -hmm. is a very, very good talent, and that's one of the reasons he brought him in. Uh, you know, I saw uh, Jamie leaving the arena. I heard there was a big uproar, and I uh, followed him out, you know, uh, had a few words with him off the record, and then uh, got the interview in the car uh, on the way to the hotel. You know, it was uh, it was exciting. It was fun. You know? Sure, it was uh, one of the biggest stories we've broke here on the show. Now, Brandon, um, here's the question I'm going to pose to you. Would you ever bring him back? I love Jamie Varner. I, I, I had a great time with him. Uh, a lot of times when you've got guys that have ascended to MMA royalty, uh, they tend to get a little bit of a, a little bit of an attitude, just like an actor in Hollywood. Sure. Uh, but this guy is a complete down-to-earth guy. I think that it was just a miscommunication on his and his agent's fault. And uh, I think that he really, really wanted to fight and put on a great show for the fans at Belfry, Kentucky, yeah. uh, for what I think is the largest MMA promotion in the state and really regionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just unfortunate that didn't happen. However, uh, I'm still talking with him, still working with him. Uh, actually, uh, actually got to see him uh, up at the UFC uh, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, interesting enough. Another man that was at the UFC a couple weeks ago, Tyler Melee Mitten, you were up there. Talk about your experience. Before we get to your fight, uh, you were actually hobnobbing with some of the biggest stars in MMA. Talk about that. Um, actually, I looked out a, a sponsor of mine, Villain. Um, I like called the t-shirt, by the way. Yeah. yeah. It's no new kids on the Quite block, but it's good. It's no. still all right. Um, he actually <laughs> called me. My sponsor called me at 8 o'clock on Friday night and, and said, hey, we scored VIP tickets. Uh, can you get here? I thought he was joking, and, and he totally wasn't. So I drove um, like 10 hours from left at midnight and, and got there. Uh, didn't get any sleep, and we went to it. it was a really cool event. It was my first UFC. So, so who were you talking first. about? I mean, what, you're right, Faber was there. Who else was there? Well, well the, the main dude I was really impressed that I got to like, actually like, talk to him and meet was Chel Son. Real cool guy. Ah, um, man, he's a villain. I think oh, that definitely super villain. He's, he's the ultimate villain. That's why I wanted to meet him. Uh, you know, Chel Son is a super guy. Like, like everybody gets that uh, – that opinion that he is a jerk and all that. He's, you know, he's got a persona. He has to show that. But a uh, great dude, great guy. Had nothing but good things to say about Brian Stan, his future opponent. Mm -hmm. just, just great all around dude. It's going to be an interesting fight seeing Brian Stan and fight. Chill Son. But two, two of them, I mean, I've trained with Brian Stan, so I'm down at Roberto Travis, Atlanta. Yeah. The two biggest 185ers I've ever seen in my life. Okay, well, let's, how they do it. Let's talk about this fight, man. Chancellor Edmondson, man. You got another challenge just kind of got thrown on you uh, pretty recently here. Talk about this fight. I know you got to cut a little weight. You were just telling me you got to <laughs> bust off, what, about 30 pounds 35. for this fight? 35 pounds for this fight. Talk about your opponent and uh, what you're going to do coming in to gruesome MMA five. I really don't know anything about him. I don't have a clue. Uh, Casey texted me. <laughs> didn't really. He's talented. He's a, he's a rough guy. I mean, he really, his last fight at Gruesome MMA 4 was one of the better performances I've seen. He went in there as a big underdog to Jerry Burns mm -hmm. and pulled out the victory. So, I mean, he is going to be a tough challenge, I'm thinking. I mean, Casey didn't really kind of act like I had much much options. He pretty much said, he said, hey, would you like to fight? <laughs> well, this is his first fight of the year, too. Yeah. You know, he hasn't fought since last year. Through, so, uh, uh, had, had some injuries and some guys back out on me. It's been a, been a real rough year as far as fights go. And Casey just said, hey, you, you really need to take this fight. What do you think? I said, let's do it. Um, I'm preparing for a fight in October, and I'm anxious to fight. I'm, I'd do sure. it tomorrow if it could come. Um, so I'm just, I'm just real excited to get there and fight. I don't really care who it is. So. Okay. Now, you got a couple websites that you have, man, stuff you do, some blogs. You want to throw that out there right now? Yeah, I work for strengthvillain.com. It's, uh, it's a strength conditioning website. Uh, kind of controversial, so if you, if you get offended easy, you really shouldn't go there. Um, we, we cover a lot of MMA stuff. Uh, there's, there's a lot of MMA blogging goes on there. A lot of, a lot of good guys go on there and post. You can pretty much post about whatever you want to. Um, we don't, we don't okay. worry about whatever, so, so just, <laughs> awesome. just beware. Okay. Well, that was the past, man, when we were talking about Varner. Gruesome MMA 5, the reckoning is the present. Uh, it'll be here before you know it, September 9th, Pikeville, Kentucky. Brandon, what can they expect, real quick, when they walk through the doors of the Eastern Kentucky Expo Center on September 9th? 
Well, we, we spare no expense when it comes to the lighting, the trestling, the entrances. We have the pride style The entrance. cage announcer. We have, we have a wonderful cage announcer that's well, got a you. little bit of a crush on Jordan Knight from, from a text message you sent me earlier this week. <laughs> but uh, we, have, we have 22 fights lined up. So for, wow. for under a dollar a fight, you can, actually, you can actually come out, have a good time, drink a beer, and enjoy some great MMA action. And this guy right here is, is going to bring some pain. Uh, his opponent is a great, is a great fighter. He uh, actually just took Adam Mays, uh, cut Adam Mays in one of the worst cuts I've ever seen. And if it would have actually made it to the second round, Adam Mays would have probably been stopped. Sure. Just, just simply because the cut was so, so severe. That's right. Uh, Greg Maynard, uh, our matchmaker and uh, our headliner, he actually uh, uh, is, has done a great job putting mm -hmm. together some amazing amateur talent. Uh, Donnie Lester, who is a uh, monster, like six foot three, 265 pounds. He's ultimately the Grundy, Virginia version of Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that's Paul Bunyan personified for real. He is, he is incredible. He's a beast. And he can bring it, man. He, he is a tough, tough, strong dude, probably the strongest guy I've ever you know, like been on the mats with physically, sure. period. And it's just a pleasure to have this guy on the card. I know uh, he hasn't got a lot of opportunity from uh, for, from some local uh, local fight promotions here in Kingsport, and it's our pleasure for him to call Gruesome MMA home. That's awesome, man. Well, I'm going to be there announcing. Casey's going to be there as well. Should be an amazing night of fights. Get your tickets now, Ticketmaster.com. That's the place to go. It's time for our main event of the week, and it features this man right here, Tyler Minton. Talk about the fight, Scott McDermott. It's a great fight. It was. It was uh... Again, that was one of those fights I was supposed to fight a guy named Adam Dayhart at the last minute. He got sick or injured or something. And uh, Scott McDermott, um, um, Casey called him, and at the last minute he agreed to the fight. So I was, I was down to do it. I'd already sold a bunch of tickets, uh, already cut the weight and everything. So uh, I did it. Well, we went to the end of round two, and he, he did well. Okay, well, there it is, man. You're going to see a really cool entrance as well. Yeah. It's your MMA Inside the Cage main event of the week.
Well, another episode comes to a close. Big thanks to Brandon Newsom, Tyler Mitten. Make sure you get out to the Eastern Kentucky Expo Center on Friday, September 9th for Gruesome MMA 5, The Reckoning, and also check out GruesomeMMA.com. Next week, we're bringing more fights from around the world to you. As we announced last week, we've brought on Bushido and Heat FC into the fold. That is correct, man. That's two more feathers in the hat of MMA inside the cage, and I am stoked. Heat FC, one of the leading events in Holland, and of course, Bushido. Man, Casey, how can everybody get a hold of us right here on MMA Inside the Cage? Of course, you just got to go to Facebook, facebook.com backslash MMA Inside the Cage. Of course, go to Twitter, MMA ITC, or you can go to MMA Inside the Cage at gmail.com. I'm Cyrus Fees. And I'm Casey. Oh, and we'll see you next week Inside the Cage. Awesome, man. Great to have you guys here.